black holes from birth to death. Since the ages of discovery, we have learned about huge asteroids, stars, and huge masses of bodies being engulfed by some mysterious white holes in the universe. Scientists have named these voids as black holes. Yes, black holes. But why? Well, this is because these voids behold so strong gravitational force that even the fastest traveling lights get trapped in. But have you ever heard about black holes boosting star growth in multi-galaxies? Interesting, isn't it? That black holes sparked stars in millions of different galaxies. This was found through some research made by NASA Institute and Chandra Data. Okay, so come on, let us know more about them. So basically, black holes are supermassive body of masses which are billion times greater than massive sun and are incredibly dense. And thus, this leads to a huge amount of gravitational force pulling different object towards it. One might wonder how these black holes are actually formed. As in, there are various types of black holes which come into existence, the first one being stellar black hole, second one being miniature, third one being supermassive, and the last one being the intermediate. Among all these, the most common one is the first one, that is, the stellar black hole. It is hypothesized that black holes are formed when there is super collapsing of stars within themselves, leading to supernova explosion. This instability in inner core of star causes its gravity to pull the outer layer of star more and more inward, thus increasing the density of star. Eventually, gravitational pulls become so intense, causing light escaping through it bend backwards towards its surface instead of radiating outwards. And anything that ventures close to it gets trapped in black hole, be it planet, asteroid, light, or spaceships. So, Let's move further talking about structure of black holes. The basic unit of black hole is singularity. What is it? This refers to a small point in universe where entire mass of black holes is concentrated. The outer region of point of singularity forms event horizon where position depends upon the gravitational pull of black hole. Surprisingly, this is a place where light and gravity are balanced. Explanation to this moves forward with the idea that this region has spectrum of invisible boundary speed of light is equal to gravitational pull. So how are basically these black holes detected? See, the fact is that these black holes could never, never means never, be seen. The detection of black hole is only and only possible by observing its effect on surrounding region of black hole as it exerts gravitational effects on nearby object. Thus, in this way, the character-like mass of an object near the black hole could also be detected. One of the most excellent ways of the astronomers to reach upon black hole is by studying the effects of light and how do light behave when around black hole. Let's talk about death of black holes. The time we all learned about holes in process and event of birth, growth and expansion of black hole. But then, have you ever wondered how long does a black hole live? Or does a black hole even ever dies? To our surprise, the exact same questions strike in the mind of Stephen Hawking. According to him, the phenomena of death was possible in regards of black hole. This was through a physics mechanism known as Hawking radiation. We'll know about this event a little later in the video. Before that, we readily know that black hole survives through trapping and engulfing down stars, asteroids and huge amount of light. They are surrounded by accretion. Disks of materials like dust and gases now as material get closer, it begins to travel faster, piling more and more around the event horizon. Therefore, it seems here that the event horizon is also the major key to black hole's death. The void might be empty, but it is not devoid of energy. Why? Well, because according to quantum mechanics, the energy in vacuum slightly changes with the time. And interesting this, fluctuations changes aids in creation of particles and pairs which emerges into existence in the universe. 
These particles have opposite polarity. One, a particle, and another, anti-particle, that is one particle with positive energy and the other one with the negative energy. But the weird thing about the particle is they immediately annihilate one another. And also, if they pass near the black hole's event horizon, there is a fair possibility of passing the particle with negative energy back in black hole and positive particle escaping out of it. This energy, which is spontaneously emitted out of black hole in form of black holes and thermal radiation, this is known as Hawking radiation. Stephen Hawking derived its existence in 1974. And guess what? This is a big plot twist here as these particles filled with positive charges are the only thing which radiates out of black hole in form of radiations. This antiparticle actually removes mass out of black holes causing it to shrink very slowly with the time frame. Therefore, do not expect a black hole to disappear sooner or later to shed all of its masses and energy matter via Hawking radiations. As this radiation reduces the mass of black hole, it is known as black hole evaporation. Although it might take 1000 billion years for still a kind of black hole to evaporate. But they surely do. So yeah, here it is, the entire cycle of black holes since its birth, leading to growth and ultimately to its death. For more such videos, please like and subscribe our channel. Thank you so much.